Morgan in 4K, disc first streaming. Is it a worthy home theater experience? Here's an excerpt from my Brightside Home Theater podcast. After weeks filled with gods and monsters and all of that action, I thought I'd think slow things down a little bit and do a movie like this. Um, a little bit more thought-provoking, fairly predictable as you go through it. But yet, it was I, I enjoyed it. It's like, I can't say this is a must-own for home theater fans, but I can say it's definitely worth the $3.99 rental on iTunes that has the 4K and HDR on iTunes, but it doesn't have Dolby Atmos on iTunes, so it's just a standard 5.1. Um, the picture? The picture on the 4K disc was nice. Um, that's not to say that it was bad bad at times it was had had really nice deep blacks and it was very clear and vibrant picture but at other times i felt it was a little bit washed out um the images the screen looked some of the blacks looked a little too gray for me and it wasn't appropriate to the scene like there's times in other movies where it's like atmospheric conditions that'll make the grays see the blacks the shadows seem a little bit more grayed out and it creates a sense of depth here. I thought it kind of flattened the image a little bit at times. Um, and like I said, it, it felt a little foggy at times or filtered if you will. Um, but overall I, they did some really nice things that we'll talk about when we get to that, when I break down the scenes, but comparing the disc to the 4k HDR on iTunes, it's pretty much identical. It really was, uh, and that says more about the disc, okay, because I didn't think, like I said, the, di the, the image is very nice on the disc, but it wasn't so great that with a little bit of compression, you're going to lose a lot, so I think going between the two, you, it's definitely worth grabbing, you know, renting it on uh, iTunes for, like I said, $3.99. Um, and it, the other thing is I just come off doing Monster Hunter. I'm doing Lord of the Rings at the beginning of each month, each movie. And Monster Hunter last week was so stunning. The picture is so great that you come off of that and you look at this and it's very hard to compare, very hard to compare. This, this is a very nice image, but it's nothing compared to what Monster Hunter had or, of course, the Lord of the Rings series, all of the images in that are so nice so comparing to that it's not even not fair really <laughs> but comparing you know morgan disc versus morgan streaming very very close as far as sound though very close now i played this back and forth i played it on the disc i played it through my zapiti using the dts master audio but i also up mix this in both formats uh, with um, DTS HD with Neural X up mixing. And that goes for the Apple iTunes as well. I use my Apple TV to do this. And the sound is almost identical, almost indistinguishable, almost. It's not exactly. It's, it, you can tell the difference when you're going back and forth. Like I would, like instantaneously, I just flip the thing and it takes a second for the thing to go over and I can hear the next scene and I can hear the difference and feel the difference. That was the bass in the, um, the iTunes stream wasn't as deep and it wasn't as visceral. So like on some of the scenes that I'm going to talk about, when you can feel the punch in your chest or there's a vibration in the room, it wasn't as much as it was on the disc, the streaming that is. Now, it, that's not to say it wasn't there. It was there. And I think that if you went between, like you watched this at somebody's house streaming and said you really liked it or they had it on disc and you went home and rented it for, you know, on iTunes, I don't think you would notice a difference because it was so minor that you could you could actually just say, well, my room's a little different than that room was, so that could be the part, the reason that it's a little bit different. Um, you know, sound absorption from one room to another might be less or more. So things like there's so many variables that if you just got this on the streaming, I think you would be very happy with it. And if you liked it, then you wanted to own the disc, then. It only cost you four bucks. So what's the big deal there? Um, but the overall sound I thought was really good. Uh, both audio tracks were a lot of fun and worthy of a 
home theater setup. I I was expecting more going into this movie. I gave this just one box of popcorn for sound. I didn't give it any boxes of popcorn for picture because, like I said, it was just nice. It wasn't poor. It, I didn't find it distracting from the movie, but I there wasn't anything to rave about as far as picture quality. They did some nice things with the picture that I'll get into with the uh, the way they shot some scenes and stuff. But it's the as far as the sound goes, it's definitely the sound definitely enhances this movie. If you watch this on a regular TV with regular speakers, you won't get nearly the experience that you'll get by watching this in a theater. Um, I think it actually, it, it brings more to the movie, more meaning to some scenes. It brings uh, more uh, engagement. There's, it's way more fun. It's, it is, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a home theater movie ride. Like, again, like Monster Hunter was, but it's it's a more cerebral movie, yet kind of leave your brain at the door because of what's going on here. But there was a lot of things that, deeper scenes that were caused because of the sound and stuff. And it, like I said, a lot of great home theater engagement, stuff going on all around the room, just not a ton of it. So we only have, I think I have 19 scenes. Typically I get between 30 and 40 scenes for a, a good action movie. But this was really, really good. Really good. I enjoyed it a lot. And I, like I said, I don't think you'd be disappointed with picking this up. If, if you're on the fence, rent it. It's a pretty good watch. I really, really enjoyed it. So that'll do it for my review of it. Now let's get into the scenes because the popcorn is popping now. And that means we're going to get into spoilers. So if you haven't seen it yet, stop. Go watch the movie, come back, and I'll give you the more in-depth version of each scene that I found home theater worthy and home theater fun. So, all right, that's it for the popcorn. The popcorn is going, and we'll get to what we always get to, the opening scene. That'll do it for Spoiler Free. If you want more, you can go to my podcast, Morgan 4K, The Home Theater Experience, or you can catch the other video, YouTube video, Morgan the home theater experience and I break down a bunch of scenes that I really liked in the movie. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. I'll see you in the comments.